What's up, Irish fans? Steve Leslie, YSNLive.com, your home of Ursuline Irish basketball all season long, and awful proud of it. Coach's Corner with Coach Gunther, sponsored by Avalon Pizza downtown. We thank them for all the support for Ursuline Athletics all season long. First of all, Coach, Happy New Year, and uh, thanks for joining the show. Yes, Happy New Year to everybody out there. Happy New Year to you, and uh, glad to be on, bud. Hey, let's talk a little Earth and Irish. We talked in the beginning of the year. Uh, we talked that, um, you know, young, you thought it was going to be a little slow. Uh, I'm starting to see, Keith, the, the Earthland basketball teams that I'm used to seeing. Talk about uh, the where the team's at right now, and then obviously coming off two great performances last week against a very good opponent in Springfield, and obviously Howland just starting up. Talk about this basketball team and where you feel you're at. Uh, you, you know, we've won our last four out of five. We're starting to, starting to understand what it takes to win, what it takes to play Ursuline-style basketball. Um, you know, some guys are really starting to pick up their game with Brady Shannon, who played for us the other night, Ja'Kyle and Irvin, Terrence Pankey. Uh, we just got some guys that are really starting to, starting to start to find their feel for the game. And, you know, we're playing 10 guys right now. And, and uh so we're getting after it on defense. We're getting stops, and, and and we're making some good decisions here, here in the last couple of weeks. So you know, record starting to show for it. Yeah, obviously the record is showing for it, Keith. You you play such a great schedule. That's one of the things I admire. I guess that's my first question. So far this season, you've played so many different teams with different styles. That has to be pleasing for you as you prepare this basketball team. Let's be honest for the tournament trail and long runs in the tournament. Talk about all the different styles. That Springfield game Tuesday night, Keith, was a very good basketball team and two quality b basketball teams. I tell you what, and I, and I told the coach after the game, he's, he's really being proactive. He's, you know, they're going to be in the division three tournament. So they, they're, they're playing up, they're playing tough talent. And I tell you what, they, they are really, really talented. They got great players. They're well coached, and they took it took it down to the wire, and actually up one with about twenty, I think thirty seconds to go. And fortunately for us, um, Jaquan was able to get to the basket and get a big bucket. But overall, I mean that that's the goal is to be able to be prepared for everybody that you're going to see in the tournament because you never know who you're going to play. So you got to be prepped, and that's why we play a wide variety of different teams. And uh, you know, so far this year. You know, for me to say I'm, I'd be displeased would be would, would, not, would not be truthful. I'm really pleased at the progress we're making. I'm really pleased that, you know, the guys as individuals, how they're buying in, how they're starting to play as a team, how they're being really coachable. And right now they're really feeling good about themselves. You start winning, you start seeing success, um, you know, and, and, and they're starting to feel good, like I said. And, you know, we've got great staff that's preparing them for the – you know, for the games that we're playing and uh, just fortunate that I got a great group of guys, I got a great group of guys that are really buying in right now. Well, obviously buying in off to a, a hot start and hopefully that continues. We'll get into this week's games with Coach Gunther, Coach's Corner, sponsored by Avalon Pizza. Keith, I, I want to ask you something. I, I asked Kerry this before. Uh, this basketball season, this pandemic, if I make this statement to you, I'm curious for your response. This is pretty much with where we are a day-by-day -day activity basketball, be, whether it be practice, whether it be games, whether it be cancellations. How important is it, I guess, to, I don't want to say stay a day-by-day, -day, but that's where we are in high school basketball in Youngstown. It's the reality. Um, you know, I know two teams got shut down last week, so – you know, you're, you're fortunate if you're getting to play and getting to practice every day, and you got to be prepared to, if you get shut down, what you're going to do. And we have, a, we have a plan. Right now, I got, you know, if we happen to get shut down, of course, the kid who's um, been contact tracing would have to stay away. But right now, we got individual trainers that I'm not involved in that our kids will go to if there's a shutdown. I'm not going to allow our kids to get out of shape. We're not going to pout about it. If it happens, it happens. It can happen to anybody at any moment. It's not like it's unequal to anybody. So you better have a game plan to be prepared if it does happen for your team. And right now, like I said, if something happens, we're, we're ready. Um, I got some guys that are that will work our kids out, that will keep them in condition, and we'll keep it moving. Is conditioning key 
utterly even more important in this pandemic for this year for these kids? Oh, there, there's no question about it. Uh, I think that was the big, one of the biggest things against the Howland game the other night. I mean, you watch your guys in the third and fourth quarter. I mean, you got to remember those guys, are, that's their second game of the year. We got nine games in. So our goal is second, you know, second half is just get the game going up and down. And you can just see, matter of fact, Masucci came over to me after he was kicking our behind. He had 14 out of 16. He looked over me and said, Coach, I'm dying. And I just got a smirk out of it. We laughed. I said, just keep working hard, kid. And they, and they were. They were struggling. They were dying. And that's just part of it. If you don't have condition, there's no way you can be good in the second half of a basketball game. So condition is key. Feel for the game is key. No matter what's going on, if your team shut down, you got to find a way to keep those guys somehow working out. Even if they're just out dribbling a basketball, getting on the road running. They have to have a plan if something occurs with your team. Yeah, with Coach Gunther, Coach's Corner, sponsored by Avalon. Before we get into this week's opponents, we'll talk about that from a YSN standpoint. And Keith, even from my standpoint, when I hear you say you play 11 games, that makes me happy because kids are getting back to some normalcy. Kids are playing. From a YSN standpoint, we're proud of being able to uh, get games out there for coaches, for yourselves, for families, for fans that can't get to basketball. How, How important is that? For you as a coach, you've done this a long time. This is, you know, a new thing. Why I said, me as a coach, here's, I'll tell you what. Here's the issue: you can't scout, you can't get in the gym to see anybody. So, props to you guys. I get to, to still scout. I get to watch the other team. I mean, it's it's been absolutely wonderful. And the great thing is, you can go back and you can you can find the games that were played earlier in the year. I mean, it, it's been absolutely wonderful me as a coach to be able to scout. As far as the parents, I think it's great. They still get to be involved for the kids, for the for the schools that allow the parents in, grandparents, sisters, brothers. You know, you still get to see your 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 family members or your friend play. All right, let's jump in. Ursland Irish this week. Talk about your schedule and your opponents for the YSN Ursland fans. Oh man, so we're pumped. It's a big week for us. We got Harding on Tuesday. We got Mooney on Friday. Uh, we're not overlooking anybody. We are. We are we, we haven't talked about Mooney. The only thing that we've talked about right now is Warren Harding. Um, I watched them against Mentor last night. I watched them on Cheney on Friday. They had they were up twelve or up eleven with I think a minute to a minute and forty five minute fifty to go against Cheney. Tells you how talented they are. They haven't got a win yet, but they're a scary basketball team. Yeah, that's a good basketball team. And and you've coached a long time. Those two rivalries, you don't need to even say anything about those two games. Yeah. But I'm going to do it for you because I talked with Kerry. It, it, the friendship and the relationship that you and Kerry have, like you and I had at both schools, those are special games. Yeah, and Kerry right. Talk about, and I'm going to throw this in because Harding's the same way. Talk about how special right. those games are as a head basketball coach. First of all, let me say this. The job that Kerry is doing right now, and I'm going to put it out there right now for the media and everybody else. Kerry Perlamo should be upper coach of the year for the, for the way he's, the, the job that he's doing over at Mooney and what he's done this season so far, he should be, he should be upper coach of the year. I'm not saying he's the only guy, but I'm saying he's the front runner right now. Uh, people need to really look at the job he's done over there, the job he's done the last few years and what they're doing this year. Um, rivalry ride, it, you know, when it comes to the rivalry, when you're playing teams like Hardy and, and Mooney, the records you throw them out, you, you, it doesn't matter. There, there's no record. It doesn't matter because you know that both those schools are coming to, to play for four quarters or five if necessary and give everything they got to win those games. Because those are, those are games that will be talked about 15, 20 years from now, you know, when those guys are out to dinner or they're sitting at a bar having a drink, you know, they get to point the finger at each other and talk about, well, when we beat you this year, they beat us this year. I mean, I still talk about holding games with Steve Arnold when Steve was the coach, you know, that he beat me or we beat them. And, you know, same thing with you guys. I mean, it's just, it, it's just, it's just rival. And the great thing, it's local rival. The only bad part about the rival for this year that I will miss is for our Mooney game, you can't get in the gym. It's no. standing room only. The student sections are crazy. It's the most exciting atmosphere that any sports figure could be involved in besides Ohio State, Michigan, or besides Ohio State, Alabama on Monday night. So, you know what I mean? But it is. It's just a great atmosphere. 
it's fun for the community. It's fun for our local basketball. It's just, it's, and it's just a great atmosphere. Well, we're looking forward, forward to it. We'll have both of those games coming this week. We're, we're proud to be the home of Ursa and Irish basketball. I appreciate you joining us. We'll, we'll get, start to do this weekly and dive into some players and, and get to be some, some senior profiles for your seniors. What's your keys for two wins this week? What, what's something that needs to be done? We just need to continue to be strong and tough defensively. Uh, we need we need to own the glass, and we need to get the game going up and down. Uh, I think the difference between us and a lot of teams is that right now we have depth. Um, we're, and the crazy thing is we got depth with young guys. We're playing three sophomores, two freshmen, three juniors, and, and two seniors. And the depth that we have is talent depth. It's not just guys we're running in and out for subs. We, when those guys come on the floor, the guys that we're subbing in, are really talented guys. So um, the key to us, like I said, is to fan rebound, get the game going up and down, and hopefully we're edging ahead by the third and fourth quarter, and hopefully both teams are gas. Now, uh, with the Harding game, you know, we, we, we got to do some things different than just straight man-to-man. We're going we're gonna to mix up some zone. We're going to do some different things. In the uh, in Friday's game, I'm not giving you one bit of information on what I'm doing. <laughs> you know what? That's funny because I just got off with Kerry, and he kind of released the same information as you're releasing, and none. And that is what is special about Mooney and Urson, and I will leave it at that. Keith, I appreciate you as always from all of us. Why then? Uh, get to practice, number one, and, and go get two wins this week, and we'll talk next week. Headed to practice right now. Um, I'm never worried about you not getting to practice. That's where Keith Gunther is meant to be. And uh, let's go get that Buckeye game tomorrow night, hopefully against Bama. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thanks for having me, brother. All right. Have a good day, Coach. Thanks.